Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark, and this is Steve, as you guys know. And Steve's mm -hmm. going to talk a little bit more about markers, which is good because Mark's movable markers is just a little bit too much alliteration. <laughs> it is Mark's movable markers. <laughs> In fact, let's look at markers and what I don't like about them, okay. and then show you my really cool chapter tip. markers and specifically, right? Chapter markers specifically. Okay. okay, so take a look. So here I have a timeline of a movie that I, I shot uh, in St. Croix, and I want to add chapter markers to the various section. Like there's Abba, I want maybe a chapter marker on this, this reef, and maybe a chapter marker, this night dive section. So let me show you how the workflow with chapter markers currently works, and then I'll show you my really awesome workaround. So let's say I want to add a marker, um, let's see, let's say right here is my friend Abba, and he's taking a picture, and I'm going to press MM to add the marker and bring up the edit marker window. Right. And I'm gonna say, uh, Abba shoots sponge. Okay, and, and I wanna make that a chapter marker. A chapter marker, right, because you want this to be exported as part of the movie as a place you can jump to. Correct, okay. so I'm gonna click done, and I'm gonna just zoom in here just so you can see it easier. Now let's say I was off a frame. One of the things that, it, that I don't like is that I can't select that marker and just drag it. In Final Cut 7, you could hold the command, I can't even believe I remember this, <laughs> but you could hold the command key in Final Cut 7 and, and literally drag yeah. the chapter marker to a new place. And, and, and you can't do this with any kind of markers. Any kind so of markers. markers. Regular markers, you can't move them. In motion, you can. <laughs> Final Cut. That's, that's UI inconsistent. That's UX inconsistency. Yeah. But you have figured out a way to do movable markers. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and start by, I guess I could just delete it. Get rid of that guy. Get, okay. get rid of, delete it. Okay. So zoom back out. And if you saw the episode that I did on frame.io, turning comments into chapters, it's very, I took their idea yeah. and, well, my, my editors took their idea and actually took it further with Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, That's what they did. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, I'm in the constant event. This is an event that you would have items that you use regularly throughout yeah. your edit process. Okay. okay. It could be stock photography. It could be a bug. It could be you know, the piece ending, of music. ending music you always use, some sound Correct, effect. that's why I call it okay. constant. What I'm gonna do is click inside here and press Option G. I'm gonna add a compound clip. A new empty compound Empty, clip. empty compound, but I'm gonna mm -hmm. call it chapter markers. And then click return, okay? Now, I'm gonna open the chapter marker container by double clicking, and I'm gonna add a gap clip by pressing Option W. Now, this gap clip is currently too long, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Right now, it's three seconds. I'm gonna press Control D and then press 100 for one second, press return. So it's a one second gap clip. Okay. Again, I'll go back to the main timeline. So I have this chapter marker here and it's, it's, it's a container with a one second gap clip inside of it. Yes. Okay. Now, I wanna add a marker at the beginning of this compound clip. It's interesting, I can press M to add a marker, M again to bring up the edit marker window. I can add a standard marker or a to-do marker, but for whatever reason, it won't let me add a chapter it's marker. It's grayed out. It's grayed out. <laughs> but I got a great workaround. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is bring up the command editor and I'm gonna customize it. And I'm gonna, up here in the search, I'm gonna type out marker. Do you need to create a new? You know you what, you know what, that's a good point. It's probably a good idea to create a new command set. So duplicate that and I'll just call this markers and click OK. And in the search field, I'll type marker. And what I want to do is I'm going to assign this to the M key, the add chapter okay. marker. So I'm going to just drag this right on top of the letter M. Now the M key is default assigned to the chapter to marker, marker rather than instead. a standard marker. Okay. okay? You assigned it. Right. Yes. So I'm going to click save and then close the window. Now here's where it gets fun. You'll notice that if I, if I go to the very beginning, yeah. of the combo clip. Shift I. Shift I. If I press MM, or just, it M. Adds, or just M, it adds a chapter marker. So when you assign it as a keyboard <laughs> shortcut, it adds a marker, but when you just try to do it from the mouse, it won't. <laughs> Pete, if, Pete, if, you're, Pete, if you're watching. <laughs> That's great. That's right. great. So you uh, managed to figure out how to add a chapter marker to this compound clip inside yes. the browser. Yes. I love it. And it's one second. Now, yeah. now we get to use it. Okay, yes. so it's gonna be fun. Down in the timeline, so let's go ahead and let's say I want to add a marker right there. So this time I'll just press Q and it adds. And there it is. Some, there, 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 there it is. Yes. And you'll notice it shows up in the index, in the chapter marker index. Mm -hmm. And I could play this and just add them as I'm playing. So I'm just going to play this. Actually, jump down a little bit to the night dive. And right when it gets to the night dive section, Q. I'm just going to play a little bit more and then play down here. Maybe let's sit down here. Um, there's like turtle. I got to get the turtle in there. Q. Okay, so I, I play and I press Q and it adds the chapter right. marker. 
And the reason I made the gap clip one second inside is that it makes them easy to select. Because okay. if it was one frame, then it's really the hardest. Grab, and if it's you zoomed way in. Right, and then if it's 10 seconds or three seconds, it's, I think it takes up too much space. If it's yeah. really up to you how big you want to make that gap. Yeah. But point is, is that I can now move this. Now this chapter marker, I was off. It really needs to be right there at that frame. Yeah. This is what I love about this. I could just move, move there and it's perfectly yeah. on the frame. I could not do that with a standard right. chapter marker. But just like standard chapter markers, they show up in the timeline index if you selected the chapter marker right. tab, and there you can rename I can them. like, I'm gonna go ahead and download this. ABBA um, sponge, okay? That's that's one, and then this one is, what is this? I go to this marker, and that's night, night dive turn. Oh, it's not exactly on the right frame, really. Actually, that's not a night dive, it's still kind of day there. There's a night dive, it really needs uh -huh. to go yes. there. Freaking awesome! I can move the chapter marker. Now, I've been through this. You're sitting there and deleting uh, and adding them again. Right. It may seem like a lot of work at first, but it's really not because if you create a, a constants event or a library with these things in it, yes. it's just created once and it's, then you it's can there. just, and it's there all the time. And it works great, as you, I love can, it. As you can see. I love it. Right. Another very cool workflow tip. Thanks to Travis yeah. and Spencer, yeah. uh, our editors at Ripple. Your Fair. editors are on a roll. They're on a roll. All right. Hope you guys like that one. Ripple Training is who we are. You can find us online, all the usual social media places. Please stick around for next week's episode of Mac Break Studio.